garage and we are taking a look at the abandoned factory dioramas from 12 world stick around hello and welcome it's carnage we are taking a look at the abandoned factory dioramas from 12 world these are 112 dioramas I picked these both up from our friends at Big Bad Toy Store. It has been a while, so I don't believe that these are uh, available any longer. But you can usually find these on eBay uh, if you are really interested in picking them up and cannot live without them. Uh, these are great pieces. They, uh, these are two pieces. I believe there is an additional piece, a third to this set. Um, but I felt like these two pieces were enough. So basically, the uh, you have these two surfaces, and then you have one back wall. And again, these are two separate sets. So this particular set does not have a back wall. This one does. So in both cases, the machinery is removable. Now this platform comes right up, and I have to say, let's talk about this platform for a moment, and because it's got a bit of a design flaw. The surface should fit on these two flat surfaces here. But it doesn't. It doesn't quite fit in between them. It's too large and it's too small to really balance on them. So you have to do a bit of negotiating if you really want to balance some figures on top of this thing because it's it never really it never really sits quite right. It'll sit well enough to work, but it's a bit frustrating to work with. It should have just been a hair wider. So that can come up. This piece here uh, is held in place by magnets, so it's relatively uh, stable. But again, blammo! And it comes out as does this piece held in with magnets there. So you can remove all the ladder and rail work if you'd like and have a bit more of a uh, stripped down look, make things a bit more spartan. But wait kids, that's not all. Because you can pull these machines as well. And um, really, then you really have a pretty cool surface that you can do just about anything. And it's a great surface, and it's got two levels, um, so it's really kind of cool, even without the machines. I have yet to really do any photos without the machines, but even just looking at it right now, I'm certainly tempted to do that. Uh, so it really looks good. It's a versatile set. Sometimes when you start pulling pieces away, the sets don't look very good. But uh, let's let's check out some of the detail. So we have a manhole cover here that looks really good. I'm just really stunned uh, consistently by the quality of these 12 world dioramas. Uh, and then we have a sort of a gutter system here. Again, it is super detailed as well. So it's not just painted there. You have the actual surface here, uh, as you can see here. And you have some really nice texturing and a wash on the concrete work. These guys just do a really great job here. And there you got some of the concrete broken away, and you can see the brickwork that's underneath there. Wonderful detail up here again with the uh, gutter system. 
you have three steps here and then you have this detailed wall here with the pipes and again part of the wall broken away there where you can see the brickwork and the piping looks really great again super realistic um, and this piece also does come out and it's also uh, magnetized as you can see here uh, and it's relatively stable but you got to be careful because it, if if you push it it'll it will fall off <clears throat> and I don't know that the pieces can necessarily work uh, on the other surfaces. You're pretty well stuck with putting them where they uh, belong with their respective parts. But this one, you do have some, you do have some freedom to move it around a bit, or you can even put it partially off of the surface if you don't want to use the whole thing in the shot. There's some, you know, some interesting combinations with that and some really neat details on this. I guess it would be some sort of a big uh, container. And if you're following the current G.I. Joe classified uh, product storylines, of course, we have the Dark Energon, and this could be a containment system for that dark energon but you have a cool uh, valve here and then you have a large pipe over here and uh, lots of rivets lots of good detail there pretty much the same on that side and this one is more more like a battery looks like we got some copper uh, wiring there that would be used to transfer energy. I'm just rambling. Um, but anyway, the pieces go back on very, very easily. Like all these sets, they, they tear down and set up very quickly very easily. I'm going to give this one um, really about a 10 of 10. I mean, I, there's really no complaints about this one other than that wonky surface up there, and it does work if you, uh, if you really work with it. Wow. Blammo. And uh, anyway, I do use another diode to give it a back wall, but I don't have that set up right now because I really just wanted to focus on this one. So I'm going to include some photography like usual, and I uh, want to thank you for watching. I do hope you will consider subscribing, hitting the notification button, and even hitting the like button if you like what we're doing here. If you dig G.I. Joe Classified, I do hope that you will come back and hang with us again. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time. <laughs>